Yeah. Here is something different, the different section. <웃음> 안녕하세요. 똥오 팀장 황예은입니다. 오늘은 클래식 피아노를 전공하고 있는 음대생들과 연주 활동을 활발하게 하고 계신 연주자분들이 만나 다양한 활동을 통해 서로 소통하는 소모의 연주자들 프로그램 촬영을 위해 모였습니다. <웃음> 여러분 과연 오늘의 연주자분은 누구실까요? 저... 여러분 세계 3대 콩쿠르라면 어떤 콩쿠르이 떠오르나요? 아, 쇼팽 콩쿠르이 퀸, 퀸, 퀸 엘리자베스? 뭐라고요? 이화 경영 콩쿠르 <웃음> 오늘 나오실 연주자분은 세계 3대 국제 콩쿠르 중에 체코프스키 콩쿠르에서 2등을 하신 연주자분이십니다 와... 그리고 쇼팽 콩쿠르에서도 수상 경력이 있으십니다 <웃음> 그리고 그 외에 다수의 국제 콩쿠르에도 수상 경력이 있으신데요. 오늘의 연주자분 그럼 한번 모셔보겠습니다. 네, 나와주세요. Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Ю. Очень приятно. Yeah, thank you. You're a really good Russian. So, thank you for being on our channel. Thank you, thank you very much. Of course, we know a little about you, but would you mind further introducing yourself for our viewers and subscribers? Uh, my name is Dmitry Shushkin. I'm a pianist from Moscow. I studied in the Moscow Conservatory. I started playing piano when I was three, around three years old. I participated in numbers of competitions, such as Geneva competition, Tchaikovsky competition, Chopin competition, Buzoni competition, so it's quite a lot, Rio de Janeiro competition. Wow. Thank you, thank you very much. Have you ever watched our video on YouTube? Yeah, actually, uh, Ayin, uh, she showed me your videos of your channel and I was really surprised by the amount of viewers you have on your channel. The way you do masterclass uh, and all these quizzes and uh, kind of games, it's also very interesting for me and it looks fun. The effort that we are trying to make classic more popular to other people. Ah, of course, I think it's very important what you are doing. The amount of effort you put into this project is very important for people who are uh, interested in music. Because of you, they are starting to understand what is classical music, and it's very important. So I'm, I really appreciate this. So today we're going to have a and lesson. Our is Hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. listening to me. Thank you. So let's start. Okay. I'll take care Very good. 
Uh, so, the thing, the first thing I want to, to tell you, the entire thing that you can use for, for the whole piece, you know, just to listen to all the changes, all the harmony, because it's very important in Chopin's music, because he always writes so many changes, harmony changes, so you need to follow. First, you need to find it in the score and uh, to listen to some recordings, for example, Paulini or Zimmerman or, uh, I don't know, uh, any great pianist, legendary pianist. They always follow these changes. Maybe if you can start from the beginning, the very first notes are very important. It's like uh, the beginning of uh, a big piece, which is full of drama, which is full of emotions, and you need to start uh, as you are starting something really epic. Even wait because it's written grave. Grave means really heavy, and uh, it doesn't mean that sound should be loud or something like this. But you need to to do it in a really precise way. And this one should be. Oh, you can see. You can see this one. You should. Also, these are equal. This one and this one. crescendo is until the end and then you are entering and here I, can you sound just you know, and here I would I would lift up the pedal the pedal and the rest I would play without the and think about also phrasing like you are asking for someone. Okay. So there should be really a beginning of something uh, really terrible and uh, scary and dramatic. You crescendo till the end, and then you enter. And here you are asking like person. very important. These all details, all small details are very important. Good, good, good. Crescendo. Like uh, you know, an engine okay. in a car. It just helps the theme to be even.
great, great. Just count, count. And here, I play in a big hall with a big echo and acoustic, you play. You need to wait, you need to listen. You need to hear the gap between fourth and piano. Otherwise, it will be blurry, you know, and you will not hear anything in the hall. So, something like this, you know, you need to always feel space, feel the timing, you know. It's very important, especially in a big hall where acoustic is super loud or super, you know, long distance between uh, stage and uh, the last row in the concert hall. So you need to always feel, for example, this is the good example. So, you know, so always pay attention to these details. Something different, the different section. Mm. Wait, yeah, yeah. You need some kind of mystery, you know? Here. Don't don't be don't be too straight. This kind of you know. but not banging, you know? And here, here's one person and here is another person. And they're talking, you know? The second step, the third. Super legato. Great. What do you think is the most important thing to play in Chopin? The most important thing is uh, to be quiet and to listen like from behind, you know. Of course, when you play piano, you cannot control all the things. But for me, uh, all the time helps that uh, I feel relaxed and comfortable. And uh, I'm trying to listen to each harmony and to enjoy it. To use it, to use small details, uh, tremolo or trills, uh, or this kind of melodies. And uh, of course, smooth sound, you cannot bang in Chopin. This is the most, I think, difficult uh, part. Because when you are super excited and you are playing like fortissimo, you cannot control yourself. And sometimes you, you do like... Uh, but you need to be gentle, but at the same time strong. And you need to 
have a very strong finger uh, at the end. But your wrist should be flexible, so that, that helps to, to play really smooth and uh, with the beautiful sound, beautiful voicing and uh, chords and elements would be really good. Because you have a really good technique, technical skills, you can play fast and clean, uh, but you just need to be more relaxed, you know. Uh, this is the key, I think, because when you're relaxed, you can do 100% things that you want to do during playing. Yeah. This is the most important thing. Even for me, when I'm stressed, even just tiny bit, uh, it appears uh, in my playing and I can hear. Hands are not comfortable, you know, but you need to make yourself comfortable. You need to find positions and fingering to make yourself comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you and all the best. <laughs> all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, it's really much better. Oh, yeah. You just need to feel relaxed. Yeah, you can do anything you want, actually, because you have really good skills.